with the recent fantastic run of form, Dennis Cotto has decided to go and have a night out and treat himself. And what does he find here? A beautiful woman to dance with immediately after hitting the dance floor. Typical Cotto scoring on the field, scoring off the field. And as the music stops, Cotto has a thought. Maybe since his form is so good on the field, he tries to get lucky off the field. And I'm not thinking about that. Get your mind out the gutter. We're here to make money and we're here to score goals. So Cotto hits the casino. Doubles down on this $2,000 bet. Making it a $4,000 bet. And you see him winning with that 21. Immediately after hitting the blackjack table. And then Cotto decides, you know what? I gotta get home. I gotta go to bed in preparations for these matches coming up. Cotto's gonna go big with a $25,000 bet. And we get an ace. And we get a nine. Putting us up at 20. And Cotto. He may be arrogant. But I'm also smart. I'm going to stand there. And I'm going to win by one. And there's Dennis Cotto. Winning 50,000 smackaroos. And I am very happy. Because that means that that BMW car payment. Will actually get paid. And I'm not going to be too greedy. I'm just going to go and head home. And get ready for the next match. And we face off against Austin FC, a team out of Texas. On the back of a hat trick, Cotto on the back of a hat trick as you hear the commentator announcing here to the world. Now let's see what Dennis Cotto can do to Austin FC. And Cotto on the ball, passing it to Loria, one of his favorite players on the Portland Timbers. Cotto on the ball now, passing back to Loria, who passes back to Cotto. Cotto with a chop and an elastico. Cotto on the ball, magic. Cotto, magic. Passing to Fogaccio, who has a shot. And Scrooge with a fantastic save there in the first five minutes of the match. And Paradez threading the ball through to Cotto, who passes to Fogaccio. And Fogaccio passing to Loria. Who finds Bravo, who finds Cotto, and Cotto now on the ball, cutting through, and Cotto has a shot and slides it through, hit the music. Oh my, what a fantastic goal from Dennis Cotto. You already know, this man loves to score, and he's not going to get much more easier shots than that. Just watch the way I just slide the ball past the keeper here. No chance of saving that, and Cotto is on the score sheet already. And now, I'm gonna selfishly try to dribble the whole team here and put everybody on my highlight reel as I get stuffed by a wolf pretty easily. And that'll end the half a bit of a stalemate after we scored in the 19th minute, but you can't score hat trick after hat trick after hat trick. You know, you gotta take it easy sometimes. And to begin the second half, Austin FC now on the ball. Down a goal at the hands of Dennis Cotto. The man of the hour, the man of the month. And Cotto on the ball now. Finding Moreno. Moreno bombing it down the right flank. And Moreno threading it to Cotto. And Cotto passing to Fogaccia, who puts it into the back of the net. Cool, calm, collected. And the Portland Timbers up 2-0 against Austin FC. What a fantastic team goal there, Cotto. Stat padding with the assists. Trying to make himself look as good as he possibly can. And just like I told you in the last episode, Cotto is here to make himself look good. And Char intercepting the pass and passing to Moreno, who finds Miller. And Miller taking a touch down the right flank. Passing to Moreno, who finds Cotto. And Cotto just turning and sending the defender for a hot dog. What a display of skills from Cotto there. Cotto now calling for the ball at the corner. And cutting in and having a shot and making Stuver work for it. And Cotto, same idea again. Just going to take the touch here. And have a shot. 
not putting it past Stuber, but that was a decent shot there. Good signs here. Up 2-0. 20 minutes left in the match. And we are cruising. And Chara now on the ball. Passing to Paradise. And Miller on the ball. Ref! 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 The referee clearly not watching the same match that is going on in your screen. And here's Carlo now passing to Chara. And Chara passing to Moreno, who finds Fogacha, who finds Carlo. And Carlo, one on one with the keeper, and you know he's going to put that in the back of the net. Carlo with another fantastic goal on the evening. His second of the night, along with an assist, and this man is playing out of his boots. One on one with the keeper, you know we are not missing that in any universe. And with the transfer window approaching, there has got to be many, many teams all over the world having their eyes on Cotto. And O'Brien on the ball. To Drussi, who passes the ring, who shoots it. And Miller not clearing the ball and Rubio getting a consolation goal. But... As you can see by the time, not enough time for them to mount a comeback, and we will win this match 3 1. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle. A pretty time, decent a display the by Dennis Cotto here. Two Derek goals, Derek one assist. You can't really ask for much more. Derek you could ask for a hat trick, the the but pitch. then you'd be considered really greedy. So we'll take the two goals and one assist for Dennis Cotto. And just to take a look at the MLS table here. We find ourselves remaining in first place on 39 points, five points ahead of LA Galaxy. And for match week 18, we face off against Houston Dynamo FC. And Dennis Cotto looking to continue his wonderful goal scoring form, his wonderful playing form. And Houston Dynamo here looking ready to go. Pogacha kicking the ball to Cotto and Cotto immediately looking to create some magic. Cotto on the ball now. Passing to Miller. Miller passing to Miller. <laughs> McGraw passing to Cotto and Cotto looking ready to go towards goal. And Cotto going to beat one defender, beat a second defender. They can't handle this man. Cotto is terrorizing this defense. Getting stopped by a man whose name I won't even try and pronounce. And now, we've got Williamson passing the ball to Cotto, who threads it through to Moreno. That's football, ladies and gentlemen. Fogaccia on the ball, has a shot and does not score. But Cotto winning the ball off of Schmidt. Passing to Moreno, who finds Cotto back with the ball. And Cotto has a shot with his weak foot. And as you can see there, it's a very weak foot. Schmidt on the ball. Bacato lurking from the back. And Kowalczyk. Oh my, oh my. Wow, wow, wow. What a fantastic goal he has just scored. What the hell have we just seen here? I really, really want to hate on that goal, but sometimes you just got to applaud the opposition and say, hey, well done. Kowalczyk. An absolute stunner of a goal. Gotta be from at least 30 yards out. And now the Portland Timbers find themselves down 1-0 in front of their own home fans. And Cotto has to activate the hating genes now because what the hell is he gonna do to upstage that goal? And that will end the half. We are down 1-0 at the hands of an absolute firecracker from Kowalczyk. And Dennis Cotto hanging his head in shame as he has done virtually nothing in that first half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again. Kowalczyk passing to Zviachenko. Kowalczyk on the ball again. Passing to save us this time. Cotto lurking. Bravo passing to Anthony. Anthony passing to Williamson. Williamson sending the ball through to Cotto. And Cotto with a big touch. Cotto with a big touch. And you know he's going to cut in here. And Cotto failing to beat Zviachenko. And this may be the match that snaps the winning streak that the Portland Timbers are on. But Cotto now passing to Moreno who puts the ball into the back of the net. What a fantastic goal there from Moreno. What a fantastic ball from Cotto. And 
<laughs> Just as we thought we were gonna lose against the Houston Dynamo. No, 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 no. And Dennis Cotto now on the ball. And Dennis Cotto looking to make it too. And Dennis Cotto having a shot and putting it into the back of the net. Hit the music. And what a fantastic turn of events for the Portland Timbers here. Dennis Cotto putting his team back on top. Immediately with a one-two punch from the side of the six-yard box. And look at Dennis Cotto sending that ball to the back post. Keeper had no chance in hell. And Phil Neville is one proud football coach. And now the Houston Dynamo have to pull out another firecracker. And I don't think Kowalczyk has that in him. He ain't no Dennis Cotto after all. And here's Chato on the ball. Passing to Cotto. Cotto. Passing to Evander. Who passes back to Cotto. And Cotto now cutting in. And now passing the ball to Mora. Who passes back to Cotto. And Cotto just loses the ball. But Mora winning the ball back and passing to Cotto. And Cotto now cutting in. And sliding it through to the back of the net. DJ spin that shit. And the DJ playing the Cotto goal scoring music because Dennis Cotto has just threaded the ball past the keeper for the second time in the match. And oh my, oh my. Two goals on an assist once again for Cotto. Back to back matches with a fantastic performance and this guy can't stop scoring. This guy can't stop assisting. This guy can't stop winning on and off the field. You saw him in the dance floor. You saw him in the casino. And you see him here winning 3-1 against the Houston Dynamo. Ha <laughs> ha, unstoppable footballing display by Dennis Cotto and the Portland Timbers. And with that fantastic performance comes more money, more respect, more notoriety, but more importantly, more points for the Portland Timbers who solidify their position in first place with 42 points, still five points ahead of the LA Galaxy. Heading into match week 18 where we face off against the third place team, St. Louis SC. And we are once again the traveling team for this match. A fun place St. Louis is indeed. But will we have fun on the field? That is to be seen here in Cotto immediately taking the ball off of the St. Louis attacker. Fogacha passing the ball to Miller, who passes to Chara. And Chara switching the field to Bravo, who passes to Cotto. And Cotto immediately losing the ball there. Playing the ball forward and regain this game. If they can manage that, it will then allow their... And Dyer getting his pass intercepted by Dennis Cotto, who passes to Moreno, who passes to Loria, who passes to Fogacha and has a shot. Making the keeper work, but not work hard enough. And here's Loria on the ball, passing to Williamson, who passes to Cotto. And Cotto on the ball now, bombing it down the left flank. And Cotto cutting in, losing his defender. And Cotto, he's one on one with the keeper. And Yaro just stopping Cotto. Yaro stopping Cotto. Can you believe what you have just seen? And Klaus passing to Lowen, who passes to Vasilev. And Loria passes to Cotto, who has a big touch. And Cotto now one on one with the keeper. And you know he ain't missing that. Cotto scoring once again. DJ hit the music. Another fantastic goal scored by Dennis Cotto. And this man can't stop scoring once he gets through past that last defender. You know he ain't missing that. No which way he'll miss that. And Dennis Cotto just sliding the ball past the keeper. Or should I say hammering it past the keeper. And you see here Cotto. 28 goals in 18 matches in the MLS. Here's Lowen on the ball, passing to Blom. Who passes to Aziel. Who passes to Klaus, who has a shot, making Krepau work for it, but not work hard enough. And the Portland Timbers find themselves up 1-0 after the first half. And to begin this second half now, Cotto on the ball. Losing the ball immediately, trying to get too cheeky with it. 
But here's Carlo now passing to Loria. Who passes back to Carlo. And now Prepao on the ball. Passing to Chara. Caro on the ball now. Bombing it down the right flank. Cutting in. Beating one defender. And now Moreno's there to pick it up. And passing back to Caro. And Caro cutting through and having a shot. And not putting it past the keeper. How the hell did I not score that? What am I seeing here? And now Williamson. Passing to Mora. Who passes to Loria. Who has a shot. And now Caro's there for the cleanup but not able to put it past the keeper. Shocking performance here, I gotta say so for myself. 84th minute, only up 1-0. Lowen on the ball. And Vasilev has a shot, and Carlo tries clearing it out. Not good enough, almost costing his team a goal. And now Carlo on the ball. And he's gonna bomb it down. And passes to Mora, who passes back to Cotto. And Cotto's gonna try to take this pass to the defender. And finds Mora brilliantly. Oh my, what a pass. What a pass. Mezzo Ozo would be proud of that pass. And Mora's there to put it in the back of the net. How, how did Cotto find him there? They say this man that only cares about himself. Well, look at that pass. I beg to differ. And now, a 2-0 lead with... One minute left to go, and Carl is just going to easily slide tackle here and get himself booked. What a dumb tackle from myself there. I got a little excited after that late winner. But what can I do? I'm just a man. And the Portland Timbers find themselves winning this match 2-0 against St. Louis SC. And you know, that puts us in a very good position at the top of the table. 45 points. Eight points ahead of the LA Galaxy who do have a game in hand. And now we find ourselves in the quarterfinals of the US Open Cup facing off against Chicago Fire FC. A man of the moment. And you already know they're talking about Cotto when they're talking about a man of the moment. How many goals does this man need to score to get himself out of the MLS? I mean, to get himself some recognition, you know? <laughs> I didn't say anything there. But here's Carlo passing to Miller and Chara. Just a terrible pass there. Losing the ball and Carlo losing the ball. And the Chicago Fire are bullying the Portland Timbers. And Pineda passing to Mueller. And Kuipers on the ball and Kuipers scoring and putting the Chicago Fire up 1-0 in the 13th minute. And we are already in trouble. And you are seeing signs week after week. The goals, they're well, starting to come again. less and less. The big leads, not so shots. much. No the fluid football, not so really much. Perhaps this win streak is on that. its way out. And the Chicago the Fire up 1-0 in the so 13th minute. But Dennis Cotto has other intentions in mind as he dribbles past the defense and loses the ball quickly. <laughs> And here's Cotto now on the ball, passing to Loria, one of his favorite players on this team. Loria passing to Miller, who threads the ball through to Cotto down that right flank. And Cotto now cutting in. And Cotto's still on the ball. And Cotto's still on the ball. And surely this is going to be a goal. But nobody is there on the other end. What is my team doing besides watching my magic? And Cotto intercepting the ball now. Passing to Asprila, who passes back to Cotto. And Cotto passing to Chara, who passes to Loria, who passes to Miller, and Miller finds Cotto. Cotto cuts in, and Cotto has a shot and puts the ball in the back of the net. Equalizing quickly before the first half is over. In the 35th minute, Dennis Cotto puts his team 1-1 against Chicago Fire FC. And just cutting in with the ball on his weak foot, putting the ball past the keeper, looking like Lionel Messi. What more can you ask for from this man? Does his all for his team and for himself. And now, back on level terms, a fresh slate for these players. Jimenez passing to Shachiri. And here's Mueller. 
Passing to Chara, who passes to Loria. And Cotto now on the ball. And Cotto cutting past the defender. And barely managing to get the ball, but still has the ball. And add that to the highlight reel. And Cotto with a cross, but nobody on the other end of it. And I say that's a decent cross in my opinion. And Loria passing to Cotto, who has a beautiful touch. And now Cotto on the ball, cuts back in, and has a shot with his left foot. And makes Richie work for it. And that will end the first half there. 1-1. One, one. Level terms after an equalizer by Dennis Cotto. A fantastic equalizer if I may say so myself. And now that we are back on level terms, we can play that free fluid football that we have been craving to play. And here's Bravo on the ball. Passing to Loria, who passes to Cotto, who gets trucked down to the ground. And Cotto calling for the ball on the right flank. There you see him. And Miller bombing it down to Cotto. And Cotto threading through the defender and still on the ball. And Dennis Cotto cutting in. Fantastic skill move. Terrible shot. And Cotto on the ball now. Passing to Loria. Who passes to Mora. Back to Cotto. Cotto elegantly dribbling. Still on the ball. Crossing it in, wide open net, and nobody is there. What are my teammates doing? Cotto stopping the ball and getting it back from Espria. And Cotto cutting in. And that is all I ask for, for someone to be on the other end of the pass. A fantastic goal from Moreno. Puts the Portland Timbers up 2-1 in the U.S. Open Cup. And Cotto with a fantastic pass to Moreno there, who finds the back of the net in Phil Neville, applauding the beautiful football. And now we can be happy, we can be all smiles, because we are up 2-1 against Chicago Fire. And Mora heading the ball to Cotto, who passes to Espria, and Cotto now on the ball. And Cotto sending Chara through and DJ get ready for that goal music. How the hell did Chara not score that? You know what? As long as we win the match, that's all that matters. And here's Cotto on the ball calling for it at the corner. And look, I have a cheeky shot and Cotto dribbling. Elastico. Decent shot. But now the Chicago Fire find themselves on the attack. Briefly and momentarily though. Cotto on the ball, looking to put more players on his highlight reel. Fantastic dribbling, losing the ball though. And now Mueller has his team on the break. And oh shit, oh shit, my team's about to eat a goal. And it's all my fault, it's all my fault. Please, please. And McGraw, I'm sending your mama cake tonight. And Cotto passing to Mora, who sees the end of this match and sees the Portland Timbers move on to the semi-final of the U.S. Open Cup. And oh my, oh look at that smile on Cotto's face. Very happy to see his team move on here. And ladies and gentlemen, that will cap off today's episode. We end in the semi-final of the U.S. Open Cup and we end in first place in the MLS. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. This has been Dennis from Clowning Wall Gaming, and I'll see you next time.